Hello and welcome to Port Coburn, downtown Port Coburn, the main marina here. And uh, the entrance to the Welling Canal is just over here. And we're here for a vessel which is making its first journey through the Welling Canal. It's not a brand new ship, it's fairly new, it's a year old. It's the Mark H Barker, or Mark J Barker I believe it is. And it's actually just coming into view right now. Uh, it's on its way up to the St. Lawrence, uh, uh, into New uh, Upstate. New York, would it be up that way? I can't remember. It's going up to St. Lawrence anyway uh, to deliver some goods up there, but it's making its way into the Welling Canal for the very first time. So we'll get the drone up very shortly and get some shots. And in the meantime, look at this old rust bucket here, the Algoma Discovery, just uh, waiting around. Uh, <laughs> the bridge there looks like it's had better days. Just going to walk up a little bit further. She's actually going to be tied up here at uh, on the wharf just over here uh, she's got to have an inspection done before she goes through the seaway and up to uh, the St Lawrence so she's gonna be here for about an hour apparently so I'm just gonna move a little bit closer up then we'll set the other camera up and we'll video her coming in and uh, try and get the drone up it is thundering right now well, hopefully we'll uh, we'll still get it yeah the thunder rumbling it's moving fast Uh, still got quite a bit of a storm over Lake Erie uh, pushing to the east of us here. Um, so I've got a time lapse going uh, get you in the ship coming in. Hopefully the weather's going to clear up so I can get the drone up. It's a little breezy right now, but uh, the storm has passed. So hopefully in the next minute or two, the winds might drop a little bit so I can get it up.
Right, the uh, ship's going to be here for about an hour while it gets inspected. Then it should make its way onto the Welland uh, Canal in just over an hour's time. So we might hang around, see what happens, grab a coffee, and uh, we'll get it going under the bridge, and that'll be the end of the video. And that'll be a good uh, way to end it. Just going to stop the video very quickly to tell you about a book that I just received by author Jim McRae. And the book is called Seaway Queens and it focuses on the design and beauty of the most celebrated lake vessels built on the US and Canadian sides of the Great Lakes between 1950 and 1969. The book features first person accounts and interviews with some of the builders and shapers of both the vessels and the industry as a whole. Seaway Queens will feature more than 100 beautiful images including photographs, illustrations, ship drawings and printed artifacts from marine museums and private collections. It's guaranteed to trigger countless memories among members of the Lakers loving community. Make sure you check out Seaway Queens, the latest book from Jim Gray. Pretty windy here up on the uh, bridge, Clarence Street Bridge, Bridge 21. Uh, we're hoping uh, the Mark Barker will start making its move soon and head into the Welland Canal for his very first time. It's been to Port Copen before uh, to unload, but it's never entered the Welland Canal. So uh, hopefully it'll leave shortly and we'll catch her entering and that'll be the end of that video. She's had her inspection and she's cleared to go. And she's heading up to Ogdenburg, which is uh, somewhere in northern New York, I believe. And, uh, she's just creeping into the uh, canal for the very first time. Take the opportunity to thank Mike on board this ship for the updates on ship junkies. Uh, he let me know that he was leaving at 5.30, so uh, thanks for that, Mike. Oh, and just to let you know, she's full of salt. Uh, I believe she picked up in Cleveland and she's carrying salt. Now it's going to be interesting to see what <laughs> this ship looks like when it comes back uh, in a week's time probably through the canal. Um, I'm sure it's going to have a lot more scrapes than this, but uh, hopefully when it comes back down, I'll be able to capture it and we'll be able to compare what it looks like now compared with then. Or I should say what it looks like then compared with now, basically. Anyway, enjoy the sounds of Mark W. Barker as she enters the Welland Seaway.
a couple of crew members on hand. The Puggy was a wave. I wonder if Mike will wave. I think Mike's at the top though. All right, there you have it. The very first time this ship has entered the Welland Canal. It's made a voyage into the canal as it makes its way up to the St. Lawrence Seaway. So uh, good luck to the crew. Enjoy, and I'm sure when it comes back, we'll see a few more scrapes. Anyway, for the meantime, I'm gonna say goodbye until the next ship video. See you all very soon. Uh, stay safe, and I'll leave you with the rear end, the stern of this ship. Guaranteed to trigger countless memories among the members of the loving. Oh, <laughs> fall down a hell. Ah, lie down in the background.